Hey Tribe, Gavin Sign here, and today I wanna to talk about deleting and updating Lightroom presets rather than just installing them like in the videos for Lightroom, for Capture One, for all these different apps that I show over at simeffects.com forward slash help. And the reason for this is I get a lot of support questions because I update my presets. So if I have Silver 4, then I do an update, I refine, I keep refining the formulas, and I send you guys the free update of Silver 4.1 and Silver 4.2. And this should be easy to manage. So to start this video off, I'm gonna show you what you're probably looking for, which is probably the latest version of Lightroom. And you just wanna do this quickly and be done. I'm gonna show you that first. And if it doesn't answer your question, then before I close out the video, I'm gonna demonstrate some other things that could go wrong and how to fix them quickly. So first of all, let's just jump over to the screen. Here I am in the latest version of Lightroom CC, and let's update Filmist, for example, because here I have Filmist 1.2 installed, all right, and Filmist 1.3 needs to be installed. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna close out Lightroom, go to my downloads folder where I downloaded the latest version, but rather than just import this directly into Lightroom. This is a common mistake because when I do a download, a lot of times it has different types of files. It might have the legacy versions of the presets. It'll have the zip pack that's for the latest version of Lightroom. Maybe it has the capture one. It depends on which presets you're downloading. But in this case, sometimes people will run into errors and Lightroom can get a little cranky if there's other stuff in the folder. So I'm gonna go here and I can either right click and extract all of this or more than likely, you can just double click on the folder. And here is Filmus Lightroom Current for CC, Photoshop, and RAW. Okay, and there's the zip file we're looking for. That is the zip 1.3. So I can just use that. I'm just gonna drag that out to the desktop. And then we have Filmus 1.3 on the desktop. We're good to go. Let's go back into Lightroom. And if I go here, you can see I have Filmist 1.2. I'm just gonna click the little plus icon right here in the presets panel and click import presets. And then I'm gonna go to the desktop and just double click or click and select that Filmist 1.3 file and import that. And you can see it says importing presets. Great. Let's look at what happened. Over here we have Filmist 1.3 by sign and we click it and ew. Okay. There's only a few presets. Now this is one of the support questions that you guys have been running into because Lightroom in the latest versions, if you use an old Lightroom 6 or something like that, you're probably not gonna see anything like this. The latest versions, Lightroom, I almost wanna call it a bug, but maybe it's not. It's doing some weird things with folders behind the scenes and it is also not allowing duplicates. So what's happening is when I import this without uninstalling the old version, without deleting the old version, it's saying, hey, these are already in there. I'm just gonna ignore them. Here's what you need to do before you import. So let's actually get rid of this that we just uploaded. I'm gonna right click and delete group, permanently delete preset group. Yes, you're not deleting the file you downloaded. You're just deleting it from the camera raw. I'm gonna do the same with Filmist 1.2 because this is what we're trying to update. So delete group, delete. Okay, now we have no Filmist in here. Now I'm just gonna go to import presets like we just did, go to the desktop, Filmist 1.3, importing presets, and boom, now we have all the latest versions of the Filmist presets here in Filmist 1.3, and we're good to go. That's probably what you were looking for. You're probably up to date and ready to go. I know a lot of presets out there don't do updates. You get them and you're done forever but that's not how I do things because I'm really passionate about the formulas that we're creating here and they're based on a lot of testing and study and research and so I'm always doing updates and tinkering. Delete the old, install the new because the new version that you're downloading has everything, okay? And you're good to go. But what about if other problems arise? You're probably good right here, but let me show you a few other things that go wrong. Sometimes, even after deleting, I've had some people tell me there's problems or that it's not going well. If, if things are really screwed up, what you actually want to do is go to Lightroom Preferences. So let me go back to the screen. You're actually gonna go to Preferences and you're going to go to Presets. And you can see, if you're using the latest version, there's, a develop, there's two buttons here. You wanna click Show Lightroom Develop Presets and you're gonna open up a folder and it's gonna have a folder here and you can click on Settings. Let's double click on that in this camera raw path, okay? So this is where it stores all the presets now. And you can see here, I have 
these presets, right? Great. But what's going on? There's kind of a mess of folders. It's making different ones, all that kind of stuff. You can actually go in and delete anything that you need to from here and then restart Lightroom. And if you've been using Lightroom for a while, you know that's always how we did it in the old days. The way you do this, if you're using Lightroom 6 or Legacy, is you actually go right to here and you're gonna show the presets folder, except for in Lightroom 6, there's only gonna be one button available. You're gonna go in, delete the old, and then just copy and paste in the new folder from your download. And that was kind of the best way to manage presets in the old version of Lightroom pre-cloud so that you could have nice organized folders. So if you're using an old version, just do it the old way, you're probably not gonna run into any problems. If you're running into problems in the newer versions, you normally don't need to, but you can go in, like I just showed you, and just delete, for example, all the old film list, right? Remember, you're deleting it from the camera raw folder. You're not deleting the download that you just made from the website, the zip file. Delete it all that you don't want. Don't delete all your presets, but delete all the ones that you're trying to upload. Let's say you go into that folder and there's three different folders that say Filmist. Just delete all the ones that say Filmist. Close it out, restart Lightroom, and then come right back to here and use the standard import method to restart with the latest version. Now, what about Lightroom Lightroom, not Lightroom Class? So if we come over here to Lightroom Cloud, that is Lightroom Cloud, meaning the same as we use on our phones, as well as we have the Lightroom Cloud desktop. Okay, so I'm in here, I have the presets tab open in Lightroom Cloud version. The idea is that these all share a common folder and we've installed them in Lightroom Classic and they should show up here. Unfortunately, it just doesn't always work that way and I don't really know why. The bottom line is, don't freak out. You can go in here and you have the same tools. You can right click, you can manage your groups, manage presets to show and hide groups, you can click on a group and you can delete that group of presets like we just did in Lightroom Classic. You can click the three dots up here and you can also do all the other stuff like import presets. So you're gonna import that pack. Even if you just imported it in Lightroom Classic, if you come over and you open up Lightroom Cloud and it's not there, don't worry about it. Just import it again exactly the way you did before, clicking it and pulling it from the desktop. In this case, I already have it installed and we're fine. But once you have it loaded in Lightroom Cloud on the desktop, at that point, you should, providing everything is syncing is turned on and all that stuff, it should show up on your phone as well. Let's go back though and look at one more thing. Let's actually go to Photoshop and, oh, look at that, there I am, okay? If we're in Photoshop, you know probably if you've watched my other videos that the latest versions of Photoshop blessedly integrate Camera Raw quite nicely and you just use it like any other filter from the filter menu. So we go here, we go to Camera Raw, and we can use Camera Raw on any photo. You can actually even record Camera Raw presets into an action and automate it in different ways. That's another video. But let's go here to presets in Camera Raw, and you can see we have all the same things, and here's our Filmus 1.2. I think you're gonna see this updating pretty consistently with what you put into Lightroom Classic. Sometimes Lightroom Cloud is a little confused, but Camera Raw seems to follow what's in Lightroom Classic pretty well. And you can see that we can go in here and we have Filmist right here. Uh, but if there's something wrong, if there's presets missing, if something's wigged out, you can do the same thing as we did everywhere else. You can right click. The dialog box might look a little bit differently, but you have manage presets delete preset group, and again, right up at the top, the three dots where you can manage presets and import a pack of presets. Those are some different things that can go wrong and different ways to manage it in all these various versions. Sometimes it gets a little confusing because now we have, we have Photoshop and Camera Raw, we have Lightroom Classic, we have Lightroom Cloud, we have Lightroom Mobile. If you follow through this procedure and the bottom line is, if you go into the app and it's missing, just clean out the old, install the new. In my case, I always make my downloads available for you guys, and if you ever have a problem, you can just email me from the site over at simefx.com. Don't be intimidated because it's way better for your workflow if you just get it cleaned up and organized. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you'll like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you found this useful and organized, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.